Hello Live Wires! Heather Boyd Wire here and welcome to my channel for all kinds of wire art and jewelry making tutorials and live streams. Today I had a special request to make roller skates as either earrings or a pendant so I designed something to go on the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit and you're also going to need your pliers, round nose, flat nose pliers. I have cutters, I have my looping pliers and I'm using 20 gauge wire for the base and 22 gauge wire for the laces. And if you're making earrings, you need some hooks. So here's the setup for the Artistic Wire Deluxe Jig Kit. I'll put a link to the template in the description of the video. I've got eight inches of 20 gauge wire and I'm just going to start with one end here at the end of the jig. And I'm going to slide these ones in here and then I'm going to go around this one twice. So we're going to go around there once and twice for the front wheel. It's okay if there's a little space in between. It makes it look three dimensional. And then we're going to go around once and twice. So this is our beginning setup. If you want, you can always like push it down to get them a little more even. And then we're gonna go around this one for that's the toe and up, bend it straight up and then just go to the right. And then on this side, we're gonna go around the heel and then we're just going to backtrack here and then bend that one across. So that's our initial setup. And then we're gonna remove it from the jig. So if you want to sharpen up these bends, just get your flat pliers and sharpen it up a little bit. Same here. If you want to sharpen this bend, you just put your flat pliers, squeeze it a bit, and then kind of wiggle it around so it gets to be more of a sharp bend. And then we're going to wind this one around the top. So just place this one in the position, the width that you want there, hold it in place, and then just bend it around. So around and then around again. We're going to leave a little bit of space in between these two here. So now we're going to clip that one. I'm going to get my six step looping pliers from Beadsmith. These are the bail making pliers and I'm just going to hold it at the top and make this round part. So I'm going to bring this one around to the back. Just bring it, center this. You can do this with regular round pliers if you want. And then we're going to hold that with the flat pliers, bring it around once and around here. And then you want to go in between these two wires. And this is a little hack so it won't slip up and down. So we're just going to hold that in place, bring this one around in between those two wires to the back, and then we can clip it. And you can squeeze it and you can push that one up a little bit too, just to make sure all the wires are pushed together. So now we're going to do the laces. Just get about a five inch piece of wire and then we just want to stick it on one of the smaller pegs. We'll just hold this here. We'll go around five or six times depending on how many laces you want. So let's go around six times. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. You can also wind this around a nail if you prefer. So we have a little coil, remove the jig, and then we just want to separate these. I've done other tutorials like the flower of life tutorial where you do kind of these loops and then you spread them apart. So it helps if you have fingernails, you're just going to bring it in there and just like spread it apart. So just a little bit spread it and spread it a little bit. We're just going to go around like that and like that. So now we have what looks like these little loops. You can adjust them so they're more even. This is what we've got here and we want it to fit in the roller skate. And then I'm just going to bend these out a little bit on a bit of an angle so they go around the skate at the front. So just adjust them a little bit 
they don't have to be perfect and then we're going to bring the skate over because I'm doing earrings I want them the opposite way so I'm actually going to flip this the mirror image we're going to bring this one over here hold this one in place make sure it's in the position that you want and then bring it around and there and because I'm going to do like a little spiral I'm going to leave an end on that you could clip it here if you don't want the lace hanging down and then this one I'm just going to hold here and wind it through a couple of times bring the wire through bring this one to the back we'll flip it over and clip it you can pinch that one in place and then adjust it if you have to and this one we want to make into a little lace be sure when you make the pair to cut this wire the same size on both that'll dictate the size of your spiral and then just take your round pliers put them at the end just start your loop around this wire is really soft because it's 22 gauge wire and then you can just take it with your fingertips and go in here and we'll take our earring hooks I buy the surgical steel hooks I get them at my wholesaler in Montreal you can get them online too probably on Etsy open this up slide that one on close it up you can always do little adjustments on the wheels if you need to and there you have your super funky roller skate earrings so thanks so much for watching the video give it a big thumbs up if you liked it be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos and if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry be sure to join the wire makers club on Facebook and if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.